all your school rugby all in one place. This is Next Gen 50. Stream here from Harrow School. Harrow against Trinity in the cup quarter final of the school's competition at under 15 level. We have the rather illustrious surroundings as a backdrop. Harrow School in the background, complete with two spires, an observatory, and a library as well. And then the sweeping vista down towards this glorious pitch. It's a perfect setting, really, for some afternoon rugby. So Trinity through Molyneux. Towers in the line out, and they Jump forward, so close over the line now. Trinity just need to get it down. The first try will go to Trinity. And they haven't taken long to get warm. They've shocked the hosts, 5-0. Before this point, but a little bit of pragmatism comes in now and we're gonna see a set play as well. Trinity opening things up, here's Bellamy. Back in space, he has Vakarady again, but that is a super step. Now the left-hand wing, McCulloch is there. Opening through the middle, Trinity looking to pounce for the second time. Big line taken, Kane Fleary. What a bust from the open side, from the, from the loose head prop, I should say, running like an open side. Opportunity oh, here, flung out wide and McCulloch is reaching and scoring. Zach McCulloch goes over in the corner, Trinity have two in three minutes. Oh, that is ridiculously good rugby. Ridiculously good. The association we have with them. Wonderful charity. That is two. Here come Harrow. Trinity are now going to have to try and stop this any way they can. There's Tui Pilotu. Harrow get the penalty. Five in the side. Just here. Ellis wants to go quickly and he goes himself. He's over the line. It's a captain score from Harrow. He has got them back in it. Away, please. That is a captain seizing the game by the scruff of the neck right there, isn't it? Quick tap and power over. Done well to bring him down, actually, to be honest. Gabriel Black allows it to his foot. Number eight, Neil, and Neil is just going to power his way over. Danny Neil has served several warnings in this match about his power game. And he's just steamrolled Trinity's back row. He's done it. What a kick from Josh Bellamy. Silence descending around Harrow School. Go wide. Wide. Ellis is bumped, but he goes around the outside. Three players beaten. Cameron Ellis gets the ball on. It's there for Harrow. It's on the floor for Trinity. It's going to be a try. Come on! Harrow Come on! are delirious. Come Under the sticks, they get the seven points. Hearts broken in Trinity's camp. Have Harrow defended their unbeaten record? I think there's a little debate. Did something happen? The refs having a chat with the touch judges, but what we can say is that look at that running from Ellis. It's almost what you're taught not to do, running sideways, but he knows he can get on the outside defence. He can just put his men away. So the penalty try as is given is for that intervention where the player, the Trinity player, intercepted the pass but had no intention of being able to capture it. It is awarded. Harrow have won. Harrow have got through to the semi-finals of the under 15s Cools Cup. They've defended their unbeaten record as an age group through under 14, winning the Roslyn Park Sevens last year through this season. But they have been given the sternest test of their time at the school. And that is the reason why there is such relief around this ground. If you appreciated this video, please don't forget to smash that like button. And if you have not yet, get with the program and click that subscribe button as well as bell notification. While you're here, if you're interested in more quality content, why not head over to our website, www.nextgen15.com. That's www.nextgenxv.com. Cheers.